Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and welcome to the Origins Remastered Zombie Chronicles Staff Guide series, where I'm going to be showing you how to build and upgrade each one of the staffs the easiest way possible, and showing you every possible spawn in the least amount of time possible, so you can get back to your game. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and if you guys want to check out any of the other staffs, they're all going to be down below in the description, each one of the staffs in a series, but without further ado, let's get into it. So the first step to doing the fire staff is to pick up the fire record, which is over by the church. There's three different spots that it can spawn. The first one is over here, right in between the wall and the tank. This is probably the hardest one to see. You gotta get up close to see that thing. But it is right there. That is actually where the spawn was in this game. The second spawn can be over here on the little bench somewhere. It is going to be sitting right there. You can go ahead and pick it up right there. And then if it's not in those either two spots, the third spot it has to be is sitting right here on top of this. So go ahead, pick that bad boy up and get on to the next step. So now onto the staff parts. All you need to do for the first one is just look up in the sky and shoot the plane down that is glowing yellow with any gun that is not the Reagan Mark II another staff or the pack punch starting pistol those are the only guns you can't use but just shoot a bullet into it it'll crash immediately it'll bring the part down right there at your feet and you're on to the second part now for the second part all you need to do is finish filling up generator six and this is over here by the church if you finish up filling up generator six it will actually spawn the part in out of this box over here you can grab that part and now you have two out of three and for the third one all you have to do is wait until round eight when the panzer spawns and then kill the panzer again very very easy to do as soon as the panzer dies he will drop usually a max ammo or something like that and then he will also drop the staff part which you can run over and pick up after the panzer explodes there you go all three parts on to the next step so again sorry for the old gameplay but this recording is a better recording than what i had and it shows you each and every spawn that the actual disc can be but you need to pick up a black disc that doesn't have anything to do with any of the staffs so the first location can be right there at the excavation site entrance and the next one is over here around back kind of near the church type area it is up there right on that little ledge you will either see it there uh, in one of those two places if it spawned there or the third one you actually have to open up the excavation site to get into basically what this disc is needed for is that you need to use this disc to open up the bottom area of the excavation site where you actually open up the staffs and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second but before I do that again right here on this little ledge that I'm about to pass by is another spawn right here but the last spawn is actually in the excavation site it'll cost you a little bit of pointage to get in there but it is sitting right there on top of that little thing and that's actually the spawn I had in my remastered game as well but if you run over here you grab this disc from one of the three locations you'll be good to go to head down into the excavation site after actually opening it up head down to the bottom type area of the excavation site and you'll see that it is not fully opened up yet that there's a little blockage there you will find a gramophone sitting right there on the ground it's the same spawn every single time you're going to place it on that pedestal with the record and with the gramophone and it will actually start to open up the entire downstairs area where you can actually build the stabs and upgrade the stabs and do all the steps you need to so you're going to wait for this to fully open up you're going to run over pick up the gramophone once again once you are able to pick it up and move on to the next step so after you've picked up the record that you need for this staff, you have all the different staff parts and you have the gramophone itself, you need to head down this tunnel specifically. You need to go down the specific tunnel that corresponds to your element. If you head down the wrong tunnel and place the gramophone in the tunnel with the wrong element that you're trying to build for your staff, it'll give you a crystal that you don't actually need or don't give you a crystal at all, depending on whether or not you have the correct record. But whenever you're ready to build the staff, you need to go ahead and head down this specific tunnel, go through the portal and head to this little pedestal that is sitting over here next to the entrance whenever you pick this thing up it'll give you a part it'll give you a crystal and that corresponds to your staff and that will allow you to actually build the staff in the excavation site and you're ready to actually build the staff itself you're completely done with the staff and now we can move on to actually upgrading the staff so for the next step, you need to head down to the crazy place and start getting about 25 zombie kills on top of this little molten magma with the fire staff. This is really, really good if you want to fill up some other staffs while you're doing this. Again, all the other guys will be in the description. But all you need to do is take a look at those little four cups behind you. As you can see, obviously, there's that molten magma on the floor. And there's four cups behind you. And as you're getting kills, these will start to light up with souls. Basically, as you're getting more and more, it will complete more and more of this actual step. And you will be able to get all four. You will hear a nice activation sound and then you're on to your rear world upgrade step so all you need to do for this one is head up to the actual kind of church area and you will see that on the walls there are these little symbols that are lit up if these symbols aren't lit up you didn't finish filling them up but all you need to do is head over and look at these four symbols now in the bottom corner of your screen you're going to see kind of like the translation for those there are four symbols that are on the wall and there are there are just a bunch of numbers with kind of like these lit up torches down below where you are right here in the church so what you need to do is find what you're 
your four numbers are, you are always going to get the number four. So there's gonna be like maybe a seven, a three, an 11, and then a four. Or like a seven, a six, a nine, and then a four. No matter what numbers you have, you're always, always going to get that four. And the four is the blood marked one. Basically, there's one, there's one little torch that has a blood mark on it. You'll see what that looks like in just a second. But you need to make sure to shoot that blood marked one. Uh, and that is basically the equivalent of a four. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but the blood mark equals a four. So you're gonna have to shoot the blood mark one and three other numbers. So say you get seven, three, 11, and four, you need to shoot those four ones and light them up with the fire staff in as quick an order as possible. And once you do that, you'll hear the activation sound as such, and then you're ready to go on to the next step. I hope this works. Far. So after you shoot all four of the correct torches in as quickly in order as possible, you will hear that activation sound and then you will be able to head down to the excavation site once again and then keep turning these dials until all four of these little dots are red. Now, once all four of them are red, you're gonna be able to go down here and shoot this big orb down in the middle with the fire staff in order to actually kind of finish your upgrade. This is the last step before you need to get the soul collection. So head down here after all four of those orbs are red, shoot the orb right there. It will go up into the sky. You'll hear the activation activation sound and then you can head back down to the crazy place and actually insert your staff and then all you need to do is get 25 kills you can get them with whatever weapon you want you can get it to do it mp40 kills you can use a staff all that matters is that that staff is in its pedestal and you're getting kills down here you'll see that the souls are being sucked into that little staff and it will be upgrading and then once that staff kind of like lights up with a yellow or a white silhouette all around it in in kind of your inventory it means that it's finished upgrading you'll hear a sound and you'll be able to run over and grab the completed and upgraded fire staff but that is going to about wrap it up guys thank you all for tuning in thank you all for watching make sure you stay tuned for my fire bow tutorial which is coming sometime in 2017 um it may eventually get here we're not really sure but fortunately for you guys the fire staff doesn't actually constitute a uh a need being made out of it so hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial make sure you check out all the other ones of all the other staffs in the description down below and i will see you all in the next video Bye bye